Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News. Now the pleasure to be joined by trainer of Richard Riakwa, Angel Fernandez. Angel, it's fight week, we're finally here. Yes, we're finally here, you know, uh, we're looking forward to it. And um, let's see what happens Saturday night. Definitely. Uh, what I was going to say, obviously, this is a fight that Richard's, Richard's been wanting for a while, but to be fair, so is Chris Bill and Smith to right that wrong as well. But how confident are, are you and Team React Ball going into this one? We're very confident as well as they are as well, you know, like uh, that's that's our jobs as trainers, you know, to, to, to give that confidence to the fighter. And uh, it's a bit of like mind games, you know, but both teams are confident and we just have to wait on Saturday night and see what happens. Definitely, kind of. Obviously, Richard had some great momentum going into this fight. He's really picked up the momentum since he was inactive. Kind of, obviously, you're a massive part of that. Do you think that'll be a massive key going into this fight? Yeah, for sure. Both men improved, you know, since uh, last time they fought in 2019. And um, we believe we improved better than them. They, they believe they improved better than us. So it's a 50-50 fight, you know, and uh, what a better occasion to to have this settle down, you know, for a world title fight. So definitely, is it win at win by at any cost on Saturday night? 100%. Definitely perfect. I, I want to move on to some other fighters in your stable, if that's okay. I want to talk about Fraser Clark. We actually haven't spoken about that first fight of Fabio Wardley. I mean, it was a draw. What a fight. Could have gone either way. But proud of your man in that ring that night. Oh my God, like. Um, it really made me proud, you know, like, uh, he's, he's a hell of a fighter, both of them, you know, because uh, from that night I've got huge respect for uh, for Fabio, you know, uh, and huge respect for Fraser because what they have delivered on that night for the British public is, is, is one to remember. It definitely is as well, and I want to touch, I just mentioned this off camera, there was a, there was a few questions in the post-fight press conference that are quite disrespectful to Fraser, if I do say so. Do you think... One, he wrote he wrote a lot of wrongs that night, not wrongs, proved a lot of people wrong that night. And do you think kind of everything's on the up from it? Do you think he proved a lot of people wrong that night? Yeah, like uh, for, for, for me, I think we only probably as believed that Fraser was going to win the fight. You know, the whole public, the whole, everyone, the whole boxing world was saying like, he's going to get knocked down in three, four rounds. And uh, I think he, he, he showed what he can do. Uh, his confidence is are high and um, we're looking forward for the for the rematch. Definitely. Talking of the rematch, obviously a few rumours. I'm not going to ask you to confirm or deny any, but a few rumours. September Riyadh season. Wherever the rematch is, it's going to be a massive stage for Fraser Clark. Oh my God! It is definitely going to be like a huge fight again for British public, you know. And uh, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to it. Definitely. I don't want to mention another certain light heavyweight. Ezra Taylor. He's in your stable. He's making some noise for himself, it's fair to say. I mean, excited to see Ezra back in the ring July the 20th. Yes, like for the WBC International, you know, great fighter. You know, very, 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 very good fighter. I've got big hopes on him. Uh, we just like kind of like on a developing phase. But I'm really looking forward to, to see Ezra's development within the next, I would say, year to two years, you know, because I do believe he is the best in the division in this country. Definitely, I mean, he's, he's approved it with his uh, previous performances as well. Another fighter I've seen, the former European champion Sergio Garcia is lurking about as yeah. well. I didn't realise until I double-checked he's with you as well. I mean, what's it like training someone as experienced as Sergio and kind of when can we see him back? Oh, I mean, he is the captain of the team, you know, like four times European champion, you know, unlucky in, in, in his last fight in Vegas, but he's, gonna, he's fighting in September. We're looking to go again again uh, in December. And uh, I'm really looking forward to get momentum behind him because it will be sad to see him go just like that because he's a great fighter. He's a great kind of like a spirit in, a, in the team. You know, they all go and ask him for, for, a, for advice. And uh, he, he, he truly is like an amazing human being, you know. I've got a lot, a lot of love for him and I really hope that it's going to be difficult, but my hopes on him are kind of like get him to a world title you know because I think he's a guy that he deserves that definitely and we look forward to seeing it as well the final one uh, Kira Malloy I must, must touch and I mean I, I remember my brother went to watch him fight in Belfast and I remember the text messages I received was wow I think we really knocked out Sam Amazing I mean talk to me t tell the fans kind of if they haven't watched Kira Malloy box what can they expect no 100% like very explosive fighter you know um, he's out again in a you like you know June so um, we're looking forward to see him and just like get a bit more momentum behind him you know because 
he's still kind of like an experience in that way and uh, he needs more fights behind and uh, he needs a bit more momentum behind and uh, after that let's see what happens. Definitely catch Kieran Malloy on the GBM show live yeah. on DAZN as well. Angel, thank you for giving thank me your you time today. Uh, my, what's that, my final one, Angel, we ask everyone this. What does boxing mean to you? I mean, boxing means the world, you know, like uh, he gave me the opportunity to be here and uh, he's giving a lot of people opportunities and hope. And uh, listen, like, I just want to say that um, everyone, you know, if you do believe it, you know, you can have it. So that's my life, man. What a way to end, Angel Fernandez. Thank, thank you so very much. much. Best of luck on the weekend.